Patty Spettler, the dog who saved my life. Patty, why a book now? Why not? <laughs> uh, time is slipping away. This all kind of happened uh, for several reasons. I found in the basement some pictures, old pictures, things, and I'd take a picture and I'd put it up on Facebook and then people would say, hey, you should write a book about this, whether it was a celebrity or a picture of my pets or my you know, parents. So we thought, oh, why not now? And then I contacted Rita Rose, who is a writer, wrote for The Star for 43 years, has two other books out. And I've never written a book before. So got with her and she said, let's do a book. And I said, you know, if you really want to do a book, I could help you with this and maybe we could write it together. What was the most difficult thing about writing a book with Patty Spittler? The fact that I am a detail person and she's a big picture person. And so I would ask her details about things or, you know, can you elaborate on this? And she said, oh, that was a long time ago. I don't remember that. So you're 28 years old, you come to Indianapolis for your first big TV job interview, and they ask you, what's your favorite game? <laughs> and I said chess, because sometimes I get jumped. And then I remember people going, oh no, she did that, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna throw her out, it's not gonna work. And Bill Stowell, who was the general manager at the time, saw it and laughed. So I got the job. Patty Spittler, I get that, but the dog who saved my life, what's that about? Uh, I have Meniere's disease, I uh, suffer from a hearing aid, cochlear implant, which is all part of the book too, and um, started in 1987. In fact, you took me to the hospital once too when I had an episode, it affects your balance and my hearing is pretty shot, or was shot back then before we had all, all these implements. The quote at the beginning of the book is, when three found dead sounds like turd found in bed, it's time to get out of the news business. And that's the truth. We're live in San Diego as IU prepares to go up against Kent State. So I knew uh, December 24th of 2004 was my last day doing the news. I said, that's it, I have to quit this. She went through a, a rough period. Uh, when she had to leave her job because of her hearing loss and the, the things that happened after that, you know, she had several years of depression. The name of the book um, is The Dog Who Saved My Life and at, at some point she decided to get a dog and so she got Louie and trained him and he became a therapy dog and so that kind of brought her back into life again. I had five years of not being on the air and being a dog mom. That's when I got my Louie and I went to the, I was the dog park lady. And I realized now I was setting up and learning about pets and things to, so for my next stage of life, which is when they came to me in 2009, said, you want to do a pet show? Again, moving forward, you collect things, never knowing quite where it's going to go, but using what you know and then adding to it. Let's play a game. Uh-oh. One word that comes to mind when I give you some names. Morgan Freeman. <gasps> Voice. Dolly Parton. Oh, Dolly Parton. Fabulous. Tina Turner. Legs. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I know. Back. I'll be back. Ah, uh, great guy. And he bounced me on his knee once too, and I liked it. Robert Redford. Horses. Uh, we connected, he loves his horses. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <gasps> Star. So that's a little bit of a teaser because if you want to find out what Patty really has to say about these people in a little more detail, this is the way to do it. Might I add, a portion of the proceeds goes to rescues and shelters. I'm not taking anything from it, I, I'm, I'm okay. I know this is a tell-all book, but you left out one of my favorite Patty stories. Do you remember going to Pendleton Prison because they were shooting a movie there? And as we're walking down the cell block, one of the prisoners yells out, hey, there's that Patty Sizzler. <laughs> you had a lot of nicknames over the years, but to me, you'll always be Patty Sizzler. 
So there you got it. That's the inside story on Patty. You got to buy the book to find out the rest. For Great Day TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.